The ongoing fight against corruption by President Mahmoud Buhari, three years after assumption into office, saw many fireworks such as arraignment and trial of high-profile corruption cases such as former Minister of Petroleum Resources Desiani Alison Madwike, former Minister of Aviation Fani Kayode, former NSA Sambo Dasuki, among others. Fielding questions from ITV on how far the fight has gone, Barista Sani Sami has this to say. We serve to the Chairman Economic and Financial Crime Commission. We serve to the Director General State Security Service. And we equally serve it to the National Chairman of the APC. Up till today, we have not gotten any response. It's we want to tell the federal government that Nigerians and the world are watching that it is, they, we all know that it's not only Sambo Dasuki, Raymond Dokpesi, Dr. Bello Haliru, and Bafarawa benefited from the 2.1 billion Dasuki gate. He calls on President Mahmoud Buhari to investigate all those who worked with the former NSA, Sambo Dasuki, like Bello. He laments on why correspondence sent to the CJN, NSA, EFCC and the DSS have failed to react to the open letters. We are drawing the attention of government to please look critically into the office of the National Security Advisor and bring those that are not brought to book so that Nigerians will continue to have confidence in this fight against corruption. Bello Fadile, retired Major General Bello Salikinya, is now in Nigeria, is on exile. The former National Security Advisor, Sambo Dasuki, incarceration, is not the only beneficiary. He recommends that the president needs to do more in order to win the war against corruption. Joseph Kadri, ITV News, Abuja.